Hey guys, what's up? This is TV and Stack. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to create your own iPod app. As you guys can see, I have it on my desktop right here, and I can click right on that, and it'll uh, basically come up with some of my music and some of my songs and stuff, and all this is stuff from that I downloaded from iTunes or I got from uh, iPod or from my iPad, uh, different sources. But um, wherever you guys get your music from, you can put it in right here. And what this is perfect for is downloading music from. Uh, different places uh, that are not iTunes and then you don't know where it's located and it goes into your downloads and that kind of just clogs it up with tons of random music and you can't find stuff like pictures that you've downloaded or anything good like that and of course you wouldn't want that because uh, that's really annoying and that's why I decided to make my own iPod uh, app slash folder so I'm going to show you guys how to do that right now so first off, what you want to do is um, you're going to want to open up Google Chrome or whatever you have. And then, of course, you're going to search iPod PNG. And then once you've found one that you want, you can use this iPhone. Uh, as long as it's a PNG, it should work. So um, for the sake of demonstration, I am just going to pick a random one uh, that I've never used before. Something like this would not work because it would actually show you that. It wouldn't just show you the one iPod. You have to make sure it's just one iPod or something like that so I've already picked uh, that blue one as you guys have saw I did it in a previous uh, recording because I already messed up so actually let's pick up this one right here because that looks uh, somewhat cool so what you're going to do is you're going to hit copy image and then what you're going to do is you're going to go to uh, uh, new folder uh, title it iPod actually not lowercase i and I'm going to put iPod 2 just for the sake of demonstration again because I already have iPod here and I don't want to mess up anything as far as that goes. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag it into, of course, Finder. And as you guys can see, iPod 2. Then what you're going to want to do is right click and get info. Then you're going to see your folder. You're going to click on it. And as you can see, it's highlighted here. Then you're going to hit Command V. Since you already copied it, Command V is paste. So um, if you really want it, I guess you could go edit, uh, paste. And as you guys could see, it said Command V right. Um, yeah, Command V is how you paste. Of course, you guys probably already know that. Um, so basically, what I'm going to do is um, let's see, go over here, and I'm going to um, force quit uh, iPhoto because I don't want you guys to see my photos. <laughs> I'm sorry that I opened that up but I really don't want to record this again. But as you guys can see it did put a little white here so you're going to have to make sure that you can find the right icon with transparency on. So let's go back here and that's my bad. So again you're going to have to find it with transparency on. So we're going to go back over to uh, the good old faithful. This one right here. We're going to copy the image. We're going to go back over here and of course we're going to hit command V or go up to edit and hit paste and as you guys can see yeah, transparency is on so you don't have that white ugliness around it um, so then from there you guys can import all your music from other sources online from Amazon or wherever you buy your music from um, all those types of places you can download it right from there so I'll just show you guys uh, all you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to um, if you drag it to your desktop I want to show you guys something so I'll actually grab a couple of these I'll grab this song right here and uh, basically pause the music. I don't want to mess up the recording. Um, but what you're going to do is you're going to just drag the music to your iPod. So who would go like this? And I'm just going to go like this and drop it right in there. And it'll make a sound. And as you guys can see, it's in cover full uh, display. But if you guys want to put it on your dock, oh, however, you're going to go like this. And then as you guys can see, it shows the uh, music, you know, the latest music import that you put on there. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to display it as folder. So we just click that. And then as you guys can see, it shows a pretty cool iPod icon. Now from there, you can make it bigger, smaller, whatever you want. Um, so it's pretty cool. Uh, let's see right here. You can... Um, you can do all this different kind of stuff. But, of course, we're not going to do that right now. So, thank you guys for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please do hit that share button or that like button or that subscribe button. Any of those buttons would be awesome if you did it. Um, 
and that's it for this video. If you guys get any questions, leave it down in the comments down below. Again, uh, anything about transparency, because a lot of people don't understand what that is. Uh, I could try to answer it in the comments down below. Transparency basically means you don't have white around it, so you get this nice little uh, see-through uh, border around it instead of having white block around it. So you got to find it as a PNG. I'm not sure if I said DMG in the first spot, but it says you guys see PNG right here. That's how you do it. So that's how I did it. Um, leave a comment down below if you guys have any better ideas on how to do it. Uh, I love video responses and everything like that. So thank you guys for watching this video. Peace out.